What's up everybody, it's your man Jay Field, and welcome to another edition of Learn How to Sample Like in collaboration with the good folks over at TrackLib, where we will investigate the production techniques, crate digging, and sample flipping of the great ones in this episode, The RZA. So let's get into it. <laughs> If you're not familiar with TrackLib, it's a very dope resource where you can get samples cleared and licensed. Huge catalog, man. It's bananas. It's crazy. If you're not familiar, just check it out. And we're going to go through a couple of things. And we're going to talk about the RZA. And I'm so happy to do this video because RZA is like, to me, in my top three all time hip hop producers. A very huge influence on me. So this guy is the man behind Wu-Tang, the infamous, legendary Wu-Tang Clan. And this video is gonna be kind of a generalization. He has a lot of different styles as well. When it comes to crate digging, we wanna look for tracks in the genres of pop, jazz, R&B, soundtrack, folk, blues, through the years of 1959 and 79. I can show you how to do that. You just go to genres, definitely blues for sure. Like I said, folk, world, jazz, pop, R&B, soundtrack. And then over here, go to you. You can pick the year that you want. I would say between 1959, 1979. This is when you start on your all tracks page. And you just see what comes up. You have a lot of different choices. Crazy. Another thing is use spoken word. And a way that you can do that is just go to all tracks. Again, choose the genre spoken word and in the region east asia you know maybe some asian dialogue you know what i'm saying if you want to that's not a mandatory thing but this is just to give you some ideas you know now personally i have no idea what these guys are saying but <laughs> another thing is you know the infamous kung fu stuff you know kung fu sound effects and that we'll get into that a little later or the very, very simple way is to use collections, inspired collections. Now, this is a new feature, pretty new. If you go to collections on the left, you'll see inspired collections. Just scroll down. You see guys like Porter's Head, Grisilda, Primo, Catronata, who I just covered. Y'all need to check that out if you haven't. Scroll down. Who do we see? RZA. Click on RZA. And these are the type of samples that you may hear RZA sample himself. Let's just go through some just to show you. That definitely sounds like something he would use. Yes, guitar is very important. Very important. We all know this one. <laughs> we all know that one. Horns, that's another thing. Horns, strings, bluesy, guitars, all that kind of stuff is very, very good. Okay, so I'm going to show you what I came up with, the ones that I found. I'll just quickly go through them. Wonder. See, that? See, that's blues right there. Another one. Definitely, definitely. And then let's talk about drums. I found this. That's definitely something I could hear using. Drums, just in case you don't know, that's another collection you can go to. You can go to collections and type in drums. Search results. Boom, bap, drums. And click on that and just go through the various drums. Look at all this. The other thing I found was this spoken word thing right here. <laughs> Again, I don't know what it's saying, what she's saying. But I picked that because I like the percussion in it, and we'll get into that as well. When we're looking for these loops, you want to look for short loops, you know, like melody things that really catch your attention. They have to be catchy and not too long, just real short loops. And let's break it down. So let's start with the drums. That's just a drum loop. And then there was also a drum roll in that, and I used that and just manipulated it that way. You know, just real, real short. One of the things about Riz's drums or drum patterns is you cannot go wrong with boom, boom, cat, 
boom boom cat like that we will we will rock you i talk about that a lot boom boom cat boom boom cat that always works if you can't ever think of no drum pattern to do do that i'm i guarantee you <laughs> that will be a good start for you another thing with those drums is they have to be dirty they got to be grimy so what i did on top of those i, I threw this sp 950 on it this is like one of my favorite plugins to use for that sp 1200 sound or that akai s950 just extra that 12 bit grittiness y'all hear that man it just extra dirty without it with it y'all hear the difference that that's that's crazy to me and i have a video talking about that if you're interested and i'll leave a card to that video somewhere if you want to check that out but anyway one of the samples <laughs> again i took a short loop very short loop and i filtered it some again we want that dirty dirty sound right very simple and i also sped it up because it was slower than that but what rizza tends to do a lot is speed up his samples i believe that same sample also had a little vocal part because you know you don't want to have just the same loop through the whole thing if you want to change it up you know throw in another loop and it could be short as well but just to change it up some again i sped it up I use that as like another section. And at the end of that part, I wanted to put a horn hit. Again, that's what we was talking about earlier. You might want to have some horns because it just brings it out some, you know, just to show you. Did y'all hear that? That was just right at the end. Okay, this was another horn and a guitar from another sample. And that's just to fill in like some spaces. See, so it's guitar and then a horn hit. That's just to fill in some spaces. Remember we was talking about that spoken word? This is the sample that was dealing with the spoken word, which actually had the percussion part. And that's why I like this one. And I pitched this one down in this case. <laughs> I thought that was dope because that percussion worked perfect, okay? Another thing is the BPM. I want to have at least 90 BPM, like between 90 to 100, you really want to bob your head. You're not having real, real slow beats. You're going to have kind of like that mid tempo. When it comes to bass line, keep it very, very simple. I just chose a muted bass sound, put a little bit of distortion on it, a little overdrive, and that's just going with the drums. You know, very, very simple. See that? nothing too busy very very simple next we talked about strings now i had played this myself and i actually used two different strings let's talk about the first string the first strings was i used a mellotron like these mellotron strings this is how you get that real vintage sound any mellotron is going to have that vintage sound also chose some more strings that were cleaner and this to me reminds me of cuban links <laughs> only built for cuban links the woo heads know about that all right how i did that was that's nothing but tremolo that's just tremolo on your strings this right here tremolo Just a single note and i think i did a higher note as well that's it i just did those two notes eq i'm taking the some of the lows out and i'm using you know i'm taking the highs out so i'm cutting on the highs and also the lows i really just want this middle section that's a simplified way of making it more dirty now i'm gonna show y'all something real fun i did <laughs> Kung Fu movies are known for having, you know, a lot of those sword sounds and, you know, you, you could always sample off of that. But let's say you just wanted to do something on your own, like homemade, like a bootleg version of that. I'm going to show you all exactly what I did and I'm going to play it first and show you how I achieved that. That sounds kind of like some swords fighting, right? You know, <laughs> but all I did was check this out, man. I took a spatula and a knife. I don't have no samurai sword lying around the house. <laughs> so I just did this in front of the microphone. This is what I did. 
right? And I sampled myself doing that. And then I pitched it down. I added some reverb on it, you know, and some EQing. And that's how I came up with that sound, you know. So I used that. You know, that was just a little something fun to do. Something you could try. I also use space. You have to use space. I'm, I'm going to say this in pretty much every video. Use space. Meaning, take out the drums in certain parts of the beat or take out the melody in a, in a part of the beat. You know, just leave some space in there. Okay? And I'm going to play this from the top and let's go. <laughs> so you had them sound effects, strings, drums. Space. More space. Drums out, back in. More space. everything back in samples drums and that's pretty much it now I'm gonna give y'all another little bonus at the end I test my beats by seeing what it would sound like if a rapper was on it so I found me a RZA acapella and I'm gonna play that along with it but I pitched his voice so uh, let's hear what that sounds like I'm just play a little bit of it y'all tell me what y'all think yeah. Yo, from the heart of Medina to the head of Fort Dream. Now I see everything. Niggas who sling. Shall it cast on inside a bing? Bobby Digital got the gold and silk sting. Rob Star, I write a hundred thousand dollar bar. My tits like combo, delete your power bar. Dr. Octopus Tentacle. Sing a simple song, Bob Digital Instrumental. <laughs> So there you have it guys, I will leave a special link for you to get 15 tracks for free. If there's any other producer that you want me to cover, write it down in the comments below. If you have any other questions, let me know. It's your man Jay Phil. I'm sending peace and positive energy.